Hello everybody, AVT here, and I am back with another video for Star Wars Galaxies Legends. And today, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. So, I really want to defeat that prototype, prototype droid that we fought in the last video. I could probably grab some officer stims and do it. It would be close, but I think it would be doable. But we're just going to gear up a little bit first. So we're going to do something a little different. We're going to do one of the Clone Wars era quests in this game. It's called Avenging Mort. And I'll explain to you why we're going to do this. Well, actually, you'll just see why we're going to do this. So Mort is here, and we are in Dirik on Talus. And he's actually right across from the starport inside of the cantina. So let's go ahead and talk to Mort. Alright, here's Mort. I'm a bit busy here, okay? This glass is the only friend I need. I was going to buy you another friend, but I guess not. Well, one could never have too many friends, I guess. Bartender, another one of these. So I assume this friend comes with a price. I'm curious, you look familiar. Mort chuckles. Yeah, I'm sure I do, considering I used to have more brothers than there's people on this planet. You're a clone. Guilty. Never met a clone before. Do you work for the Empire? I was part of liberating the galaxy and bringing our glorious Empire to power. Nowadays, I just drink. That's not possible. I thought you all died young. See this arm? Well, it's not the only thing that's not flesh in my body. I would have been better off dying with the rest of them, though. But why do you say that? <clears throat> what can I do? I'm a washed-up soldier that knows nothing except drinking. I'm getting real good at that. My life has no purpose. That can't be true. What happened to you? I was bred to be one of the clone trooper commando squadrons, elite four-man teams causing disruption behind enemy lines. During the battles of Kashyyyk, I and my squadron had one such mission, taking out a command bunker deep inside enemy territory. You really interested in this? Yes. Please, go on. The mission was going well. It wasn't the first time we've done something like this. We blew up the bunker and were on our way to be extracted when the enemy found us. They notified command that we were under attack, but would still be on time at the extraction. We worked our way toward it as quickly as we could, dispatching pursuers by the dozens. Yes. As we approached the extraction point, we saw our, our LAAT take off. There was barely any enemy left and none at the extraction point, but our commander saw us as expendable drone clones and would rather lose us than risk a carrier. What did you do? We tried to make it back towards our own ranks, but we were deep inside the Kashyyyk forests. And let me tell you, those forests are deep. Over the next few weeks, I experienced the death of my three brothers to wildlife, enemies, and nature itself. I thought clones didn't have feelings. So did our commanders, but let me tell you, kid, I felt pain so strong that it could have been my that it could have been my own as my brothers fell. So how did you eventually end up here? For months, maybe even years, I was living in the forests of Kashyyyk. During a fight over food with one of the monstrous creatures on the planet, before I could put it down, I lost my arm. I just laid down in my, my back and thought, well, that was it. But it wasn't. No, as I was laying there, bleeding to death, a research expedition happened upon me. They saved my life, but had ulterior motives. Dr. Ortaz, the leader of the expedition, saw me as a perfect lab animal and started experimenting on me. And I thought my life was tough. Eventually, I rega regained my strength, though, and put an end to the experiments permanently. I managed to sneak onto a freighter and make my way here. And that about wraps up my life story. Amazing. And you've been here ever since? Well, I did try to track down my old commander for some good old revenge a few years ago. By that time, he was a high-ranking officer in the Empire, and I had no chance to get him, so I gave up. Is he still alive? Yes, he's retired now, but not much easier to get to, especially in my state. From what I've managed to find out, he's running a racket smuggling Imperial weapons he can get a hold of with old contacts, selling them to anyone willing to pay. Why don't you turn him in? If the Empire found out I was alive, well, let's just say I wouldn't stay that way. Besides, I don't have any evidence. Say I had some time to look into this. Where would I start? You are something else, friend. If nothing else, you brought a smile to my face for the first time and, well, maybe for the first time. If you're serious, though, he's running his operation at the hotel in Karen on Naboo. His name is Morkov. I will look into it, my friend. You want another? Actually, I think I'm fine. I'm not getting my hopes up, but if you're actually going to check in into it, I wish you good luck and thank you. I will be back and let you know what happened. Alright, so now we have the quest Avenging Mort 
phase one, dealing with evil. So we need to head to the hotel in Karen Naboo and find Morkov. So that's what we're going to do next. should take me just a minute to get over there, but I'll just go ahead and cut this portion out and talk to you guys when we arrive at the hotel. Alright, so here we are in Karen Naboo. There's actually an invasion going on right now, so it's a good thing we are not on active duty. But we're going to head over to the hotel. I already have a waypoint marking his location. I will make sure that all these waypoints are down in the description below for you guys, so that there's no issues in finding any of these things. But let's go ahead and talk to Mr. Morkov. And here he is. How may I assist? And we're going to say, I'm here on the behalf of my master, Jabba the Hutt. Another one. Can you please tell your master to stick to the same person doing his business? It's getting a little tiresome doing background checks on all of you. A lot of people in my master's service have a short lifespan. Morkov chuckles. Yeah, I suppose that would be true. Never mind on the background check. What does the hut want this time? My master needs five new E-11s. What? He can send his thugs out to beat up five troopers and get that. I don't deal in qualities like that. Is this a joke? My apologies. I of course meant five crates. Oh, why didn't you say so? Yeah, that's not a problem. I'll have that ready for you when you arrive at the usual location. Usual location? Did they not tell you anything? My information was very sparse. I'd say, very well, there's an empty building located across from the hotel in Deja Peak. My courier will meet you upstairs in that building. Alright, so now we need to head over to Deja Peak. And same as before, I will talk to you when we arrive. Alright, so here we are in Deja Peak. And the waypoint leads us right here to this building. Where we're looking for Morkov's courier. Side room here. Nope, he is upstairs. Alright, let's go upstairs. Take two. There we go. Finally, I don't like waiting. Where's the credits? Creds? Yeah, money. Uh, I don't have any. And now we're gonna fight him. Bye bye. Awesome. Easy enough. Now then, for the next part, dangerous logs. Courier had on him the logs of all of his and Marco's transactions for the last year. That should be what Mort needs. Return to him in Dira Cantina on Talus. Perfect. Yes, we're going to go ahead and return to Mort. And I will talk to you when we get there. Alright, here we are back in the cantina in Dirik on Talus. Where, let's see what Mort has to say. There you are. How are things going? Quite well. I recovered those, these logs of Morkov's business. Mort looks through the data on the log. This is really good, Aboa. I don't pretend to understand everything that is on here, but I bet the Empire would be very interested in this. He even sold equipment to the Rebel Alliance. I bet you're right. What are you going to do? I'm going to show this to someone with Imperial Authority. Mort chuckles. Revenge will be will finally be mine, and what a fitting end for old Morkov, too. Come back and let me know what happened. I can't wait. Alright, so now we're on Avenging Mort, Phase 2. So now, we're going to have to head to the Association Hall in Karen on Naboo and talk to the Imperial Officer in charge. So I'm going to go ahead and head back to Karen, and I will talk to you when we arrive. Alright, so here we are, back in Karen on Naboo where we are going to turn Morkov into Major Rayev. Um, if you're playing on neutral, this is actually going to be a different character you turn it in, and if you're playing as a rebel, there's going to be a different character you turn it in. Um, you get different variants of the reward for this quest, depending on your faction. And here is Major Rayev. What is it, soldier? The data pack contain... This data pad contains important information regarding a traitor. Really? Very well. I'll send it to Intel for and Isaac. Wait a moment, and I'll have their reply for you. Fine. Maybe I'm just impatient.
There we go. What the heck did you have me send them? You need to go downstairs immediately. There's a hollow call waiting for you. From who? Just go down there, soldier. Okay. You the boss. Let's go downstairs. And we have a hollow call with Emperor Palpatine. And so we meet, Eboa. I just wish it hadn't been under such distracting circumstances. Y yes, my lord. Come closer. Let me see you. Yes. I understand that you don't quite grasp what it is you have come across, so let me explain. Thank you, my lord. Although this Morkov is indeed the spider in the web, the treachery reaches deeper in our glorious empire. The information you sent us is allowing my loyal subjects to find and remove these disturbances quickly and efficiently. I'm glad I could be of service, my lord. So you have been, Eboa. So you have been. There is one more favor to the Empire I'd like to ask of you. Of course, my lord. Morkov, I want all of the logs from his business, and then I never want to hear of him again. Am I making myself clear? Yes, my lord. I understand. Good. I am most pleased. Until we meet again. All right. Now it is updated to Tool of Termination. So, let's go uh, make sure Morkov is never an issue again. Alright, Morkov. If he attacks immediately. Mission accomplished. Alright, so we need to return to Major Raev and return Mort's, Mort's, uh, Morkov's data pad. Welcome back, soldier. I trust that you followed orders. Yes, sir. Morkov will not bother anyone again. Excellent. And the logs from his operation? Should be all on here, sir. Very good, soldier. I will send this to Intel right away. The Emperor will be most pleased. And now we need to deliver the news, which means we're going to head back to Mort in the cantina on Talus. So we're going to do exactly that, and I will talk to you again once we get there. Alright, so here we are in the cantina in Dirik on Talus once more, where we're going to deliver the good news to Mort. Good to see you, Abo. What's new? Morkov finally got what he deserved. Are you sure? What happened? After I turned in the evidence, the Emperor ordered his termination. Are you sure they went through with it? Yes, I was the one that had to carry out the sentence. After all these years, I can't believe it. When you went on your way to Naboo, I didn't truly expect to actually get my revenge, but you proved me wrong, friend. I may sound bloodthirsty, but after what that scum did to me and probably thousands of others, he deserved it. Trust me. I agree, or I wouldn't have gone through with this. I couldn't possibly repay what I owe you, but I did save something that you might find useful. If you're interested, I still have my old combat armor. I don't need it anymore. I'd be honored to put it to use. So what will you do now? I'll just finish living my life. Maybe cut back on drinking some. Try to straighten myself out. Sounds good, my friend. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you, Aboa. Stop by someday and let me know how you are doing. And now, we have received the Katarn armor, which is why we were here. Unequip this is appearance. There we go. This is our new armor. Pretty cool. It's Clone Wars era clone trooper armor. And I just really enjoy the appearance, but most importantly, here's the stats on our old armor, right? 2640 kinetic, 640 energy, 1640 everything else. Stats on the Katarn armor, 5664 everything. So it is substantially better than our old armor, which with the entertainer buff that I've been getting armor in, now puts our kinetic and energy at 11,414, which is going to help us significantly when fighting that prototype droid. So that's going to do it for Avenging Mort and acquiring the Katarn armor. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. I'll make sure to have all the waypoints labeled and down in the description below so that you can just copy-paste them and it'll generate them all at the same time so you shouldn't have any problems figuring out where you're going. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And as always, may the Force be with you.